we had a lot of good times on this channel with Arlo, but I think the time has come for Arlo to retire from Doberman Planet. Yep, it's happening. I'm not happy about it, but I think it needs to happen. This is Arlo. Say hi, Arlo. Hi. Oh, Yeah, guys, it's true, and I hate telling you this, but Arlo is officially retiring from Doberman Planet. I think it's a sad day for everyone, Arlo, myself, and viewers too, but at the same time, I'm really excited about what this means for the channel, and I'll explain this to you in a second here. Oh, and before you start worrying, um, Arlo is fine. He's not sick or dying or anything like that. He's totally fine. Arlo, come here. Come here. <laughs> He's totally fine. Um, you can come up. Okay. One time, just for right now, just for this video. All right, he's usually not allowed up here, um, but he's totally fine. But it is gonna be sad to see him go, but I think that the changes that are gonna happen here at Doberman Planet are actually really exciting, and I think you're gonna be excited about it too. Okay, so there are two main reasons why Arlo's retiring from Doberman Planet, and the first one has to do with, uh, how do I say this, his mental health. So Arlo really has been experiencing some extra anxiety lately, and I know he's been extra stressed out for a few reasons. One, he's pacing a lot more than normal than he usually did. He's also kind of whining and crying throughout the day, just kind of randomly a little bit more. Um, he's chewed up his bed. We lost his first bed that we've lost with him in, in, in a long time. Uh, so that was a blaring red flag that he's getting more stressed out. Um, he's just more on edge with sounds and stuff than he normally is. And honestly, I think there's a few reasons for this, but one of the biggest is my wife and I are getting ready to move and we've just been extremely, extremely busy getting ready stuff, stuff ready together. We've been, we've been working more than normal. We've been trying to do all these things and he just hasn't been getting his exercise and socialization like normal. Um, and I think it's really starting to kind of take a toll on Arlo. And to be perfectly frank with you, I feel guilty really guilty. So besides like noting that he's getting less exercise than normal, I was also trying to focus in on what his triggers were for his anxiety. What points in the day they tend to get, the anxiety level tends to heighten. And I know something really surprising. When I get out the camera and the tripod to make a YouTube video, Arlo's anxiety raises. And that was amazing to me. That was surprising. Um, and in fact, you can see it. If you look really close at my more recent YouTube videos where I record it with Arlo with me, he's always like chewing on something, for example, to get out that extra anxiety. And it didn't used to be that way with him. Early on with the YouTube videos, like he was a lot more relaxed. He's just, just he'd sleep on my lap a lot of time. In fact, let me show you right now. There he is right there. He's chewing right now to get rid of that anxiousness. And, uh, it's something that was kind of a new thing for him. Excuse me, moving the camera around. Um, but I've definitely noticed this anxiety and this extra stress coming out of him. The subtle things matter with your dog. So I started to think really hard and ask myself, if one of my clients booked me for a training session, can you hear him crying? He's actually kind of whining right now. His anxiety level is rising, which is interesting. Um, but if one of my clients had this exact same issue with their dog and they were wondering, they wanted some advice on how to tackle it. Of course, I'd recommend increasing the exercise, which is one thing, 100% my fault. I feel super guilty for not getting the exercise he needs. I'm working on changing that. In fact, you'll see that in a video um, that I have coming up, but I'm working on changing that. And uh, besides the exercise, I would also recommend more mental stimulation. And I would also say to analyze his whole day, find the points that trigger the anxiety the most and remove those triggers to start. And certainly, one of those triggers for some reason is getting out the camera and recording a video. So part of the reason Arlo's retiring is I'm taking my own advice here and I'm doing exactly what I would recommend someone else do in this exact same situation. Um, and I, before some of you laugh and think, well, there's no way a dog could remotely comprehend pulling out a camera or a tripod or whatever and doing this whole thing. You got to remember these dogs are incredibly, inc they're one of the world's smartest dogs and they read us very well. 
And, you know, maybe it's partially some signals I'm sending off, or maybe it's some of the goofy things I ask him to do, like in the intros, for example, ask him to do weird things all the time for these introductions to my videos. I don't know what it is, but um, he can read situations like you wouldn't believe, just like most Dobermans can. And yes, just like us people, some of us are great in certain situations, super comfortable, social butter butterflies, while other ones are a lot more stressed out uh, in certain situations or or things like that. And this is just, I think, one point of the triggers for Arlo specifically. So it's just becoming apparent to me that Arlo's just getting stressed throughout the day for various reasons and because of various triggers. All of them 100% my fault and 100% within my power to address. So that's what I'm doing. Arlo is retiring partially because of that to address these things and remove some of these triggers from his daily life, which, because frankly, he's my dog and I love him and I owe that to him to address that. But the other reason that he's retiring and things are gonna be changing is to better help you guys, my Doberman Planet viewers. And here's what I mean. Honestly, I never wanted the Doberman Planet channel to be the John and Arlo show. That was never my vision. My vision was to have a place to teach Doberman owners everywhere to be comfortable with their dogs, be successful raising them, and most importantly, be great breed ambassadors and spread the word about these amazing dogs and start to really change their reputation out there. Um, and that's why I call you my Doberman breed ambassadors. And um, you know, there are so many amazing dogs out there and their owners that I think need a platform to be featured. And that's what I really want from Doberman Planet. And look, honestly, Arlo was featured on here because it's just a great convenient way for me to show some of these training uh, methods and some of these training techniques and really demonstrate what I talk about. Um, so that's a lot of the reason why Arlo was on here purely for convenience, but I think Doberman Plant is getting big enough now. I think it's time that we feature some more of the really interesting, amazing owners and there are amazing dogs out there so we can learn a lot more about this amazing breed. Yep, you're gonna start seeing some new families here on Doberman Planet and you're gonna meet some new dogs that are just going through all different points in their lives and owners and their dogs that are that are going through different struggles and having different triumphs and, and different wins along the way and losses. And we're gonna learn more about this breed than we've ever could have possibly learned by just following John and Arlo the whole time. We're gonna see dogs that are doing things that me and Arlo have never done before. And it's gonna really broaden our horizons. And I think we're gonna learn a lot more about this breed and you're gonna have a lot more fun along the way and learn even more to apply to your dog. We're gonna see some different techniques, some different training things, that some that work great, some that don't for the Doberman breed. And we're just gonna just blow up the knowledge out there about the Doberman breed. So yes, Doberman Planet will still be releasing one video every week, just like normal. That's not gonna change. But what is gonna change is you're gonna start seeing some new families and new Dobermans that are just super cool Dobermans that we would have never seen before otherwise. This is a whole new adventure, and if you can't tell, I'm super excited about it. Um, I'm trying to calm it down here for you guys. Um, but this actually brings up a really cool opportunity, actually, that you can be a part of. Okay, so here's the best part of today's video, guys. Doberman Planet is looking for future guest hosts for this channel. That's right, you heard me right. Um, if you kind of like get you know weirdly excited about this breed like I do, sorry about that, try to tone it down sometimes, um, and you really wanna help other owners in the process to learn about their dogs while you're also equally learning about your dog in the process, then go to dobermanplanet.com slash join our team with dashes in between each of those words. Link's on your screen right now. Um, the address is on your screen, but the link will be down in the description. You can click on that link if you'd prefer, and you go there, and on that site right now is an open listing for a YouTube guest host. Essentially, you be one of our Dober families that we check in with from time to time to kind of see how things are going with you and your dog and what you're up to. Um, you could teach us about what you're up to, some training techniques that you use, things that have worked, things that haven't worked, and that kind of thing. You'll actually work pretty closely with me, which will be a lot of fun. I can help you out along the way. And um, it, it's just a great opportunity for someone who wants to do something different. Someone who's passionate about this breed, wants to do something different. Yes, you'll earn a little bit of cash along the way, but hopefully it's not about that. It's about the fun you're having along the way and the passion for this breed. And then for the Doberman Planet viewers, we get to learn from a whole new family and a whole new dog and a whole new perspective, which I think is just, I think this is just gonna be a win-win for everybody. And I will say it's kind of cool to be like, you know, out at a restaurant or at the airport or something and have someone recognize you and be like, hey, I saw you on Doberman Planet. You helped me so much with my dog. You made my life so much easier, so much better. Um, thank you so much. It, it's such a great feeling 
to know that you've helped someone so well. And if you're a regular guest host on this channel to our huge worldwide audience of Doberman lovers everywhere, then people are gonna get to know you just as well as they know me and Arlo. Now you can learn a lot more about the details of this at DobermanPlanet.com slash join our team. And that link will be in the description down below, remember. Uh, and maybe we'll see you and your family on the next Doberman Planet episode. Uh, and you know, it's great if you can record quality video and audio, that's wonderful, but it's not required. The important thing that is required is just a passion for this breed. Um, that's the real key here. Um, so check that link. This is an amazing, really rare opportunity to do something pretty unique. Arlo and I do want to take a second to say a big thank you to all our viewers out there. You guys are amazing. You're seriously like the most supportive group of people I have ever met. And you always have my back and Arlo's back and I appreciate it more than you know. Like I, I just, I can't put it into words guys. And I really hope that you are equally excited about this new direction of Doran Planet as I am because really this channel is for you. Um, so I hope that you're excited about this. I mean, Let's get some cool dogs doing different things on this channel. Maybe some agility dogs, maybe some bite dogs doing bite work or protection work, or, or how about a show dog? We can all get together and root on the Doberman Planet show dog in the show ring. Or how about just a normal everyday puppy like Arlo was being brought into a home of first time dog owners and we're learning along with them along in the process. I mean, I just, I think the possibilities are endless. Oh, and to be clear, guys, I'm not going anywhere. You're still gonna see me. I'm gonna host a lot of these episodes here on Doberman Planet. You're gonna see less of Arlo, of course. I mean, that's, that's the point of his retirement, right? You're gonna see quite a bit less of him, but you'll see a lot more of other Dobermans in cool situations, which is really awesome. You guys, thank you so much for your support. Can't thank you enough. My Doberman breed ambassadors, you guys are absolutely amazing. I love my ambassador crew. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're interested in being one of our featured families here at Doran Planet, just go to that link in the description down below. Click on the uh, listing for the YouTube guest host spot. And uh, when you go there, it'll answer a lot of your questions and you can submit an interest card right there, answer a few basic questions, and we'll be in touch. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I know Arlo here is gonna be missed greatly, but I'm also really excited to make Doran Planet about your dogs from here on out and not just mine all the time. So keep an eye on this channel. Things are gonna be changing, maybe a little gradually at first, but you're gonna to start to see some changes very soon. Thank you so much for your time today, guys. See you on the next one.